together because th y'all think we're going to go door to door and kill people. That shit you used to do to us. We're here to protect our people. We're here to self-police our people. And I can announce today that we cut an agreement for Louisville. We're not just here for today. We're going to stay in your city and work along with your people to build community policing. I'm going to show y'all how to do it until you can do it for yourselves. We're not here to be reactive. We're here to be proactive. We're going to stop shit before it happens. See, we're going to get to know Ray Ray, Nuck Nuck, and Pookie and all of them. Y'all notice I said in them. Y'all know who in them is. Pookie and them. The gangs. We already got the Black Riders with us now. They control the Bloods, the Crips, the GBIs, MB-13. You see, we got law-abiding gun control, but we also got the hitters with us, too. We got the bangers with us, too. We got the boys behind bars with us, too. We got the black nation behind us, too. So I need to salute them before I go on. And the last thing I want to say for the NFAC, if y'all don't believe we real, We've done more in two months than some motherfuckers have done since they've been in existence. Y'all need to give us a motherfucking hand. I want to lift up the Black Panthers, the new Black Panthers. I want to lift up the Huey Newton Gun Club. I want to lift up the Fred Hampton Gun Club. I want to lift up the Justice League because they all came and joined up with the NFAC. Y'all see, we unifying. It's unity. That's what the fuck you looking at over there. That's unity. That's what I see over here. We unifying. And some people scared of that. Because if we unify, they don't have a reason to exist anymore. You see, ain't no money in the cure. Money in the treatment. Because you got to keep coming back. You know, another protest, another protest. Now, fuck that. We need to put an end to this. So today, we'll let y'all know what I found out. Because all eyes on Bree, right? Right. Listen to me real carefully. We thought when we came here that when we left, three officers would be in custody. We thought that when we left here, y'all be jumping up and down and being happy. But when I talked to the Attorney General, and he told me the truth. I ain't like what he told me. But then he told me why. Now I'm gonna ask a question. By show of hands, who's the registered voter out here? Put your hands down. It's not the police that can fix this. It's y'all that vote that can fix this. Because the only way you're going to fix this, y'all got to get rid of your man. Uh-uh, uh-uh. I don't mean you have an election. All of y'all got to vote that motherfucker out. Because the reason that he couldn't do his, the AG couldn't do his job, because the mayor didn't give him the whole motherfucking case. And the reason he couldn't give him the case, because there was nothing to give him. We had somebody get shot down the street. By mistake, the police came out there, put up yellow tape. Somebody cover my six right here. They made a crime scene right there. Start questioning people, drawing chalk and shit, trying to find out what happened. They didn't do that for Miss Taylor. There was no crime scene. There was no report. There was no ballistics. There was no blood and toxicology. Matter of fact, there wasn't nothing. So when they gave it to the AG, he said, what the rest of the case? Mayor said, I gave you enough to do your job. And they thought that shit was gonna go away. But you motherfuckers ain't stupid. 
Oh, y'all want to scoop it out this motherfucker here. So when y'all turned up the heat, they started passing it hot potato back and forth and back and forth. But they didn't tell y'all that. Because if they did, y'all would have found out that some other crooked shit happened. Because they are really saying that they didn't give a fuck about y'all. We need, we need some type of vehicle to get, um, I don't know if you know I'm Ozan, do you know Ozan? The only guy, Ozan. Keep your eyes on the split. See, we didn't come out here to fight nobody. 
Especially with people that don't agree that they're making the answer of what happened to Breonna Taylor. We came out here to get some answers from the state of Georgia. That was so long in the state of New York, Kentucky. We need some answers. Yes, sir. We need some transparency. Because see, y'all talk about it. If we don't get the answers that we want, we're going to be about it. A lot of y'all think this shit is a joke. So let's get it going. Okay, yeah, there you go, right there. Bring my game now, so when I come up with your feedback. Yeah, I'm gonna do this right now. Give me some space. Turn them highs down a little bit, bro. Turn them speakers out to the people. Turn them speakers out there. Thank you. Thank you. Turn that motherfucker out there. This one ain't even on. What's that? Nah, bro. Fix the sound, bro. We said we're going to do it right. Come on, bro. Nah, it ain't that. I ain't taking a chance, bro. I'm over here, bro. I don't got one speaker, bro. What's that? Same old bullshit. 
Then y'all show them. This ain't slavery no more. This ain't reconstruction no more. This is not Jim Crow no more. God damn it, this is not even the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, or the teens. God damn it, this 2020. And we got perfect fucking vision. Yeah. Yeah. So you got to give us the truth. Because we grown enough to handle it. Stop making decisions for us. Because you don't think that we can handle it. Because we handling a lot of other shit, ain't we? We handling no reparations. We handling still being treated like we property. We still get, we, we handling being lied to about the judicial system. We still being lied to about why we got people locked up about shit that's still legal. We tired of being lied to about why men putting their hands